Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to be creating a class that is a robot. Okay, so first we're going to create a new project, and I'm using Xcode because I'm on my Mac partition. You can use maybe a more dedicated C++ compiler, like Dev C++, um, or e Visual Studio. But so just create a regular class, and I'm going. I mean a regular project, and I'm going to name it Robot Class. Okay, so I created my file, and here's the main function that it comes with, the main file where which is expected to contain the main function. And I'm just going to delete all of this. Okay, and add a using space std okay good so now I'm going to create another file just to store my class in and putting it in the header file or a C++ or a CPP file basically the only difference that it really makes it is one is faster whereas the other takes up more memory so I'm just going to name this um, classes and Okay, so I created my file now. I'm just going to include all the standard files and Okay, so now that we've got that, let's create our class. So, pretty much a class has certain characteristics. And let me delete this file. Um, so, like, a person, a person class would have a function such as, I can, I can eat, I can drink, I can run, that kind of thing. And they would also have certain data attributes too, like, um, an age, a height, that sort of thing. So, both, so classes have multiple behaviors and, which are, per, functions, but when they're part of a class, they're called methods. The only real difference is functions are independent and be, can be called whenever, whereas classes are, whereas functions part of classes can, are from behaviors are called methods. So pretty much methods have operate off of characteristics that the cl instance, the exact example of a class might have. So we're going to create a robot, and generally you start class names with uppercase. So I'm just going to... So now, there's a certain set of variables. There's a public variable, and then there's a private variable. The public variable part is things that the regular person can call that are accessible with all the data and behaviors that they can call. The private which is usually only used for containing data, has variables that can affect the class but cannot be accessed to through instances of the class. And I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm going to um, create a, here in the public section, I'm going to create, um, let's see, a height. And let's see, I'll also create a processor speed. And what else? Maybe A is robot happy. I'll put that in. Is. Okay, so I'll make it a, a boolean because they hold true and false is robot happy and so now in the private section I'm going to create um a variable called robot ID and robot password and Let's make this a 
a, kit, a string array, and most some people use the string class that's in there, but mostly, but I like the standard C chard class just because I don't like the string class that ships with the IS string. Okay, so pretty much, and let's include the IS string files here. And we'll just create the namespace. Okay, so back to the cons to the public section. Now, there's a certain method that gets called immediately when your robot gets created, and that's called the constructor. And then there's the destructor, which but that's for pointers, which we won't use right now. So first. I'm going to, so the constructor has the name of the class, but it takes parameters. So integer, um, this robot, um, password. So they're going to set a password, and when they first make it, and they're, they're also going to show, set a password. This robot's password, and this robot's ID. Okay, so now since it's a uh, one of the methods, just like a function, it goes inside the class, and pretty much we're going to take the global variable robot ID and set it equal to this robot's ID, and we're going to make another robot robot password equal to this robot's password and so I actually decided for now for simplification to use the IO stream string class okay so we've set the password and those are private variables, so they can't be changed anywhere else except through methods like that. So now, we're going to create some methods. We're going to create a method called show traits. So it's not going to return anything, and it's going and doesn't take any parameters, and it just shows the traits. It's, it's going to create a new line, and it's going to show the height, and new line, and it's going to show the processor speed, and it's going to see if the robot's happy. and. Um, is robot happy? And we should probably add show what we're actually displaying. And this robot is. And it'll give us a one or a two. So and L uh, and we're full finish.